Welcome back to June Reviews from South Florida. Tonight, we're going to go to the great state of Wisconsin, and we're going to review Death's Door Gin. All right, Death's Door Gin. Coming in at 47% from Wisconsin. The style is classic and it is a barley wheat base spirit. Botanicals, we have only three, but they're good ones. Coriander, fennel, and of course, juniper. So Death Store Gin is one of my absolute favorites. Um, and I was going, I was kind of backtracking on uh, my channel and I realized I never did a review. I, I did a review, it was a written review. It was before I, I thought of doing this format. Um, so it's time to do some proper reviewing here of this gorgeous spirit. The nose is unlike any other gin I've ever smelled, and it's so beautiful. It's creamy. It has fennel and the anise, or anise, um, right away. And then the juniper is right there. It's making up this very clean scented gin, but in a creamy way. It's very strange to describe it that way, but if you were to smell this, that is exactly what it would smell like. <laughs> Mm. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I'm, I'm, I'm in love with this gin. I remember thinking that the first time I tried this, I was like, wow. So it holds true to this day. It's been a while since I've tried, tried a neat shot of it. I'm pretty excited. Down the hatch, here we go. Salute, one for me, one for you, and all that good stuff. Salute. Oh my god. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's bright and clean. It's like chewing on a fennel seed. Mm. It's close it, it's closer to Indian food in that aspect of that spice <clears throat> but it is so beautiful the burn is well traveled it's hearty for just a few botanicals this is one of those gins that really can blow your socks off I mean if you are a gin head <laughs> I hope hopefully you are that's why you're here um, it's one of those it's one of those gins that is you have to try it just to know it. Here's the bottle. I love this bottle. It's a little map right here. So Washington Island is where they grow everything for the dissolute. Their barley, their juniper, everything grown right there, which is in the great state of Wisconsin. Um, it, it was established in 2005. I love how the botanicals are right there. You don't need much space since it's only three. On the back of the bottle, Death Store Gin started as an idea and has become a movement and craft spirit industry. Inspired by the passage of water that separates Washington Island from the Wisconsin mainland, our story is now known globally. We are humbled by the awards, passionate in our pursuits, and committed to making a truly exceptional gin. And that's from Brian Ellison, the founder and president. Death Store Distillery in Middleton, Wisconsin. Well, I have never had a martini with Death Store, so I thought we would do one of those. We're going to make our martini. I have one ounce of 
drive removed, and that's included the olive brine in there, the two ounces of our gin. Don't forget the bitters. Huh? <laughs> Looks like a little nest. Let's see what happens. Wow. It's so good. It's like, it's this creaminess that I think the wheat, it's from the wheat of the, the bulgur. Um, that wheat itself, that's where I'm getting this cream. The juniper and the, and the and the cream, it's like right there on the front part of the palate. Mmm. There's a lot of phantom botanicals coming out with the vermouth. I, I, I taste like cinnamon or cassia mixed with... It's hard. There's a lot of phantom botanicals I can't even pull out, but I know they're there. It's sort of like... A red hot candy, like that kind of cinnamon, and it's not the devil's bathtub. <laughs> Even though this is death store, it's not related at all. Mmm. A fennel, it comes in at the end. It's a really, really well made martini. Um, I highly recommend picking up a bottle. Uh, so, as of uh, 2020, a year of infamy, right? Um, that store uh, went out. They went out right before COVID hit, actually, so we can't even blame COVID for that. But I have seen this bottle and their vodka uh, just like every liquor store I've ever been to. There's always a bottle. So with that being said, at the time of this video being made, 2021, uh, September, uh, there should still be a few floating around out there. Hopefully you can get yourselves uh, a bottle of this, or if you already do have a bottle, make yourself a martini with this. This is awesome. And uh, tell me what you think. So from me to you, to you to me, to everyone here in the States in the middle, from sea to shining sea, I uh, want to wish you a wonderful, beautiful afternoon, evening, or morning, whatever time we're doing this at. And uh, if you're new to the channel, I'd ask you to please subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, we'll have many more of these reviews in the future and on deck. In fact, our next one is actually going to be... <laughs> Take care, ciao, uh, you bastards. You know how uh, uh, honey badger don't give a you know what? Well, guess what? American badgers, we do. And, and, and we like gin. And we like this guy. We're the only animal that does. So, you must subscribe or, well, you know, we're gonna take your eyes out. <laughs> you will rip your eyes out of your sockets. Subscribe.